Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about how to automate Excel reporting using Python. This is going to be entirely outside of Excel. We're going to load this data into Python and then we can set up things like timers or take in multiple Excel sheets to create custom reports. This video is going to be a complete code along tutorial. So I'm going to show you every step on how we can start automating our Excel reports using Python. This is what my example looks like. I'm assuming that I'm a frozen food manufacturer and that all my data is given to me in the form of an Excel spreadsheet. Here I have the time that each product was run and how much of that product was run in those five minutes. I want to make my custom report so I can pull averages over the times of each product. So that is to say, I want to know how many pizzas I produced on average every five minutes that it was ran. But let's make it a little more complicated. What if your manufacturing plant has multiple lines that you're running? And what if each line provides their own Excel data in this format? So you have this Excel sheet and then you also have a second Excel sheet for another line. The format is the same, however the product numbers are going to be different and you're going to have to take these into consideration whenever you're making your custom report. Hopping over to your text editor of choice, go ahead and make a new file. From here, the first thing we want to do is import XLRD. This is going to be what allows us to read in our Excel files into our Python script. Next, I'm going to go ahead and name those Excel sheets in my Python script. So I'm going to name on Excel sheet one, and then the name of the file. And then I also have that second one. So I'm going to name this one Excel sheet two, and then it's the same name just with the number two after it. These two lines are just naming my variables and not actually opening the Excel files. To actually open them, I need to use a command open workbook. So I'm gonna say book one, which is just a variable, equals xlrd.open workbook and then Excel sheet one. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the second one as well. So book two equals XLRD open workbook and then Excel sheet two. Now we need to specify what sheet in that Excel workbook our data is located in. We can do this by using the sheet by index command. So we can type first sheet equals book one dot sheet by index and then we can say zero. Python begins its indexing with the number zero, so this is just saying the first sheet. Then we can do the same thing for our second workbook. We can say second sheet equals book two dot sheet by index and then zero again. This is because both of these workbooks have the data located on the first sheet. We can also pull out information about a specific row. We can do this by typing print the sheet that we want to access and then row values and then zero. This is saying that I want to print out the first row's values. So typically this is the header and this will allow me to make sure that my Excel sheet is being read incorrectly. I'm also able to index these values if I want to. I can do that by saying headings and then equals to the same thing that I've already typed up above. So first sheet row values zero. Now, if I want to index, so say I want to pull the second column heading out, I can do that by saying column two heading is equal to headings and then the number three, because remember Python starts at zero. I can then print this value out if I want to. Now to do data analysis on these Excel sheets, we're going to have to make a for loop. I'm not going to type this line by line. I'm going to paste this from another source, but I'll talk through it line by line. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting an initial value of I equals zero and total equals zero. Then I'm saying for every row in the range of the first sheet's rows. So I'm saying for every row in the first sheet, if the string of the first sheet in the second column has the value of key lime, so this is saying for every line that has key lime in the product section, I plus one. So this is taking into account all the lines that say we made key lime pie during these five minutes and count these up. Then I'm saying for every line that key lime 
is in the second column, count up the values in the third column. So this is the amount of key lime pies that that manufacturing line made in those five minutes. Now I'm doing the same thing for the second Excel sheet. So I'm saying count up all the columns that have key lime in the second column, which is the product column for the second sheet, and then total all of the production values in that third column. Then at the end, I'm saying I want the number of occurrences of key lime pie, which is the I value, and then I'm wanting the total of the production of key lime. Now, since I was wanting the average amount that we produced per five minutes when we ran this product, I can go to the bottom and type in print and then I, or total, and then divide that by the number of occurrences, which is I. Save this as a Python file. Mine is called excelreports.py, and then open up a terminal. And Adam, if you open up a terminal, it's going to automatically put you on the directory of the script that you're typing in. However, you may need to CD into the directory that you're in. Now, if you don't have XLRD already installed, type in pip3 install XLRD. I already have it installed, so it's not going to take any time for me right here. Now, execute your Python script. So do that by typing in python3 excelreports.py. It wouldn't be coding if you didn't have to debug, so let's see what's going on. Column 2 heading, this value right here should be a 1 because Python, I did my math in reverse. My bad on that one. So let's try this. So now we can see the total number of key lime pie occurrences in those two Excel sheets. We can see the total of the production of those key lime pies, and then we can see the average for each five minute interval. And that's pretty much it. You can do this with as many Excel sheets as you want, and you can make this as fancy or not fancy as you want to. You can start putting in graphs, you can start automating this to run at certain times. You can do all kinds of things with this. Leave me a note in the comments below if there's anything you want me to help you out with. Thanks for watching my video.